folks welcome back this is your old pal Hondo on another real tutorial for you folks on a commonly not very well known uh, reel on YouTube this might be actually the first uh, video on this reel on YouTube this is from the 1980s uh, 270 Abu Garcia Abomatic um, it is an older reel when I cleaned it um, the writing on this reel came off it's a very slow gear ratio reel but it, it it's very reminiscent of a 202 I think it's a little bit smoother than a 202 has zero ball bearings it's from the 80s has a graphite body graphite cone and a nice wide um, hole it's a very good casting reel I put a six pound test on it I use it as an ultra light rig um, it is rated up to eight pound test uh, I think it's like 100 yards, an 8 pound test. It, it does have a straight line drag. It's sort of a mixed cross between a 202 uh, gear system and a the drag system of a 33 in the 80s, basically. Very nice reel. I've used it before. It, it works really nice, casts really well. It has a slow gear ratio, about probably 3 gear ratio, maybe. 3 0 to 1, 3 1 1, something like that. Very low gear ratio which to me it's good for like pan fishing only really I uh, smallmouth bass fishing I've used it for uh, you could use it for smallmouth bass fishing pan fishing trout fishing you know just you know largemouth bass fishing small bass not big bass you're not and maybe some pike if you put a thicker line on it like 10 which is his max of seated line that you want to put on this you don't want to put nothing more than 10 on it because it's it's basically like an ultra light rig, but it's a very nice reel. It has one handle crank, one pickup pin system. Very nice reel, well made, uh, easy to take apart in maintenance. Um, you want to make sure the drag is on its lowest setting, which is this way. First, before you even start out with this reel, take the cover off, and uh, there's a little nut right there on the cover that you can take off, but it comes straight out of the frame. If you want to clean these separate, I recommend you to put them in warm water and use a toothbrush. Not, no chemicals on this. This is what ruined the cover there. Um, you take a small, the tools you'll need for this is a size 8 wrench and possibly a screwdriver and possibly a needle nose pliers. First thing you want to do is take off the spinner cone. You have to winch the nut off. That's the way by hand. You take off the spinner cone itself. If you want to get this spinner cone back on this gear wheel, you're going to have to hold this uh, pickup pin right here out with a pair of pliers and lay it back on the pinion gear itself when you put it back together. Now when you do that, the pinion gear is already coming out. Uh, this is the gear system right here. It's very reminiscent to a Johnson reel, like one of those Johnson Country Mono reels and stuff like that. It's very reminiscent to that type of reel system and it's kind of cross between a Zepco 33 as well uh, we'll just take the gear out this long gear it's brass coated and steel very nice it falls out no matter what you do um, you want to pair you want to take this here uh, small um, screwdriver and push on the back of the, the gear there to try to get it off and then once you work it out a little ways you could take this little pin out comes out fairly easy and goes in a little bit hard you take that pin off you take the washer off it's like I said it's very reminiscent to a Zebco with the Teflon washer on top of the metal washer take that off like so we'll just take the spool off screw it <laughs> and uh, it should come right off just make sure you put it back in the pile that you found it and uh, the spool comes right off there's the uh, drag washer right here. You just take that off with a screwdriver like that. Loosen it up. Take it out like that. And you want to take this nut off. You use the size. You want to use a size 10 wrench for this job. It's a little bit bigger screw. It comes right off. And uh, you take the screw off by hand the rest of the way. And underneath there is a small star washer. You want to make sure you know where that goes back when you put it back together. Now, 
the thing that I found very interesting when I first got this reel is that this this handle crank was this uh, wheel gear was stuck. And the only way I could get it unstuck was take a little bit of oil and dip it on both sides, or you could take WD-40 and spray it on the inside to unseize that gear. And eventually, you could take the handle crank, stick it back on, and work that gear out. If it's stuck and then you pull that main gear out and right here is the anti-reverse switch it has to go back in this order right here in order for the wheel gear to work and you just take it out and the parts that you want to take and clean are the wheel gear the pinion gear the wheel gear the pinion gear itself and the aluminum spool and put it in a small tub like this and you put the body in there too and spray 409 all over these parts even the uh, spool itself and spray it down with 409 once you get done spraying it down with 409 you take a wire brush just to the gears and you take a toothbrush to the body and a uh, q-tip in them holes right there to clean those holes out any old grease and once you get done cleaning this with a toothbrush you want to re-grease everything once you re-grease everything you reassemble the reel you want to put a little bit uh, you want to clean this off too if it's really bad um, you put a little bit of drop of oil in there and that should clean that that should make it to where it operates and functions right um, you want to recoat everything in grease on the bottom of the spool and the front on all the the draw the washers right here the drag washer you want to put a little bit of grease on this washer that goes on top of the uh, spool and the small Teflon bit you want to put some grease on now right here you want to put a little bit of grease you want to hold this out like this and hold that like that and then you take some burying grease and stick it behind there and hold it down like that and put some grease behind it and work that pinion gear until it gets greased in there and then you take a little bit of oil and you drop it in between here and here and that oil will help also smooth it out to where this uh, this this uh, engage and function right and once you do that this thing will never come loose for years later and you will never have an issue with casting with this reel if you grease this part properly and clean it out with a toothbrush and you know you basically you want to put a little bit of grease right here on the front of the the frame you ain't got to worry about putting no grease on the body on the bottom you put a little bit of oil right here where the drag knob goes and you want to make sure that drag knob is facing this way the little screw mechanism you re-grease this front to back to shaft with grease with the wheel gear you want to grease this right here and grease this whole thing down with grease bearing grease and Use a little bit of oil on there to to mix it up. Once you do that, it's time to reassemble the the reel after you get done cleaning it and re-greasing everything. You want to reassemble the reel here. First thing that goes in this reel is the gear wheel itself. You want to put the uh, anti-reverse mechanism on like that. Replace the gear wheel like so. It should lay right on top of that like that. And then you can replace the... Uh, the center pinion gear like so you just gotta wiggle it in there just make sure before you put it in there that the anti-reverse switch is in there right you just you know move it back and forth until you until it works for you and once you do that you can put the handle crank back on it goes in you have to hold that gear in place to put it in with one finger and then take the star drag on top of that like so on top of there and put the little uh, nut back in it and use a size 10 wrench to wrench it down hard and there you go it's in there tight now you can check the action of the reel it's good to go once you grease everything up this thing should be like a brand new reel all over again now that we got that put together you want to hold that bearing uh, you want to hold that pinion gear down with one hand you want to drop your little drag washer the big end into the drag like so into the little notch right there and it should just fall into place like so you stick your Teflon washer that goes right on top of that 
and then you drop your spool back on top of this like so make sure the fishing line don't get underneath the spool if it happens then you're going to be screwed you could put the other drag washer back on top of there that teflon drag washer and this right here goes on top of that and we're going to replace the pin with you know put this pin back in like so make sure that drag is set to the loosest setting you and there's a way to kind of get this to go in there is you take a pair of pliers and just grab it but you got to hold that bottom gear if you don't this thing will fall apart there it goes and you just take that and just squeeze it down on top of there and it replaces it and this is the tricky part right here this you got to hold the the gear up into place right here like that and I found a way right here you push this little sucker you set this upside down real quick you want to hold this little sucker out like this push this in the pickup pin in like that what I like to do is I like to take a pair of needle nose pliers and hold it like that on the pinion gear so when you replace this with the pinion gear you want to hold on to it like that until it falls into place in your life because if you don't hold on to it this pickup pin will fall once you get it on there and you hold that stupid pair of pliers down on it you gotta stick this nut on there ASAP for it to work right and the nut goes on you want to tighten it hand tighten it until it goes on and always hold this down because if you don't that little pickup pin will ride off the uh, frame and take your size 8 wrench and wrench it down tighten it up all the way till it won't tighten no more and basically the reel is reassembled now now that that's done you can shove the uh, the cleaned body of the reel into the push button part of the reel and then you could take the uh, spinner cone protector and screw it back on and she's ready to go to fish that's how you disassemble and clean the Abumatic 270 um, Arbu Garcia spin cast reel from the 80s. I hope y'all like this tutorial on how to take it apart and put it together again and some tips on how to clean it and regrease it. I hope y'all like this video. Please smash that like and subscribe button. This has been your old pal Hondo from Hillbilly Tactical. You put God first, He puts you first every time, and you know what else, YouTube? God loves you. So does Hondo. Peace out, YouTube. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.